In this episode of North Central Idaho's Video Explorer, interact with the wild, take in the beauty of the prairie, and relax in your own little bit of heaven. The Camas Prairie in North Central Idaho is named for the native Camas plant, an important part of the ancient and modern Nez Perce diet. The Camas Prairie is a tapestry of farms, fields, forests, and lakes, and is centrally located within easy reach of four of our nation's great wilderness areas. Uh, Graysville sits uh, right on the edge of all four of the major wilderness areas in Idaho, the, the largest wilderness areas in the lower 48 states, actually. The, with the Hell's Canyon Wilderness Area, the Gospel Hump Wilderness uh, right on our back door, Frank Church Wilderness not far away, and to the east of us, the Selway Bitter Wilderness. Uh, you have to come through Grangeville to get to all those areas, so uh, it's a good place to supply up and go have your fun on the wilderness. The Camas Prairie is also a great starting place for exploring the rivers of north central Idaho. You're 10 minutes from the rivers. You can be on the Clearwater River in 10 minutes. You can be on the Salmon River in 15 minutes, the Snake River in an hour if you go through the Hell's Canyon there. Another hour you're up to the Locksaw and the Selway. You're right in the middle of it all. The communities of the Camas Prairie are warm and friendly. At the north end of Highway 95 is the town of Winchester and Winchester Lake State Park. There's two recreational vehicle areas in it now to support, a, I don't know, a large number of RVs. There's regular camping. It's a year-round facility. It's quite enjoyable to walk around the lake early in the morning and just breathe the fresh air, smell the trees, and watch for what's scampering around in the woods behind you. And we also have the Wolf Education and Research Center. In my Winchester Lake Lodge, I have guests from basically all over the world as well as all over the United States that come to Little Winchester, Idaho, population 308, and visit the Wolf Education and Research Center. South of the Winchester area is Cottonwood, with world-famous landmark Dog Bark Park. Dog Bark Park uh, was created in 1997. We moved onto this uh, raw piece of land, started planting trees, built Sweet Willie, the bed and breakfast beagle. We do uh, chainsaw carvings. He carves part of the dog, I'll carve another part of it. Then the finishing includes burning off all of the sawdust, painting, putting a license tag on it, and a red scarf around its neck and then he's ready to uh, become someone else's pet. A spectacular site is the uh, Monastery of St. Gertrude. The building itself is on the National Register of Historic Places. For museums, there's the Historical Museum at St. Gertrude's, often billed as the Little Smithsonian of the West. At the southern end of the Camas Prairie is the largest town in the region, Grangeville. Uh, Grangeville is situated almost in the center of Idaho, uh, north of the Salmon River. Uh, we always like to say that we're right on the edge of the beautiful part of Idaho. Winding through the Camas Prairie on Highway 95, you'll see lots of amazing railroad trestles still in use today. Winters on the Camas Prairie offer as many activities as the summer, with over 400 miles of groomed snowmobile trails and two ski areas. Cottonwood Butte is a relatively small ski area, but has become a favorite among locals and visitors. Snowhaven Ski Area is just seven miles from downtown Grangeville. While larger ski areas continue to grow more and more congested, Snowhaven has remained a fairly quiet and uncrowded option with slopes for all levels of skiers and a terrific tube run, perfect for the whole family. Grangeville hosts a fairly new but rapidly growing farmer's market from June through September with fresh local produce, handmade crafts, and live music. The 4th of July is a fantastic flurry of activities on the prairie. Grangeville's Border Days is a three-day celebration dating back nearly a century. Border Day started in 1912 as a, just a cow pasture rodeo as a bunch of local cowboys uh, wanting to have a little friendly competition and it turned into what it is today. It uh, runs all three days, usually over the 4th of July, always over the 4th of July, uh, either before or after, depending on how it falls. Uh, there's something for everybody. We have uh, street sports every morning for the kids. It includes a super egg toss, which we hand out over 250 dozen eggs a year. But uh, there's food booths downtown, a carnival downtown, a lot of games for the kids downtown, a live music every night, parades all three days down Main Street. Big parades, big fireworks show. And Winchester Days keeps the Independence Day festivities rolling. In our Winchester Days, we start out with a big cowboy breakfast in the morning. We move on to a parade at 10 o'clock in the morning. You run what you brung and you come to the Winchester Parade and then go out to the Winchester Rodeo. 
which is a Saturday afternoon, and then it finishes up the next day on Sunday. August begins every year with Cottonwoods Raspberry Festival, with a quilt show, cultural and craft demonstrations, a silent auction, show and shine car show, and all the food and fun you could hope to find. And in September, in conjunction with the Lewis County Fair and Nespers, it's the Combine Demolition Derby. Yes, combines, and it is a hoot. It ain't over until the last combine crawls away with the prize. So pick an event or an activity and plan on spending some time on the Camas Prairie. The folks are warm and friendly and can offer lots of ideas for great places to eat, comfortable places to stay, and lots of fun things to do. The Camas Prairie is easily accessible by car along Idaho's major north-south corridor, Highway 95. If you need help planning your visit, click on the appropriate link on this page and be sure to check back soon for our next installment of the North Central Idaho Video Explorer.